Okay, that's powerful. Amen. Amen. We don't have much time, and my message I'm going to preach, it will take more than 30 minutes. And so if we do that, we are wasting our own time. Amen. Oh, amen. amen. Wow, I love your dresses. You're all looking good, amen. And I like the smile. One on one word, as you smile, you meet your husband. As you smile, you meet your wife. Listen, I'm not joking. I'm not joking. I'm talking in the spirit. As you smile, you will meet him. And when you meet him, you will know. Amen. And to those who are married, as you smile, your husband will love you. Your wife will praise you. Amen. This morning, there's what? Marriage 201. Amen. It's going to be awesome. Marriage 201. In fact, I'm charged and I'm ready. So it is good I'm married. So that me too, I can say so. So that me too, I can say so. Marriage was instituted by God. And uh, we all know this, don't we? Marriage was instituted by God. He alone has the blueprint. He alone has the skeleton. He knows what it is. So in other words, before you marry, there's one knowledge you should have, and that is the knowledge of God. Yes. You must know Him. And once you know Him, He who instituted marriage, then you can go back, you can go to and ask, Lord, how do I make my marriage what? work? Oh, yeah. How do, will I make my marriage work? And for the matter of many of us made that mistake, we didn't ask God, then we just married. It doesn't matter. Amen. It's never too late. Oh, yeah. How many of us who are married here? I am a baby. Oh yeah. Probably be an enemy when they have no So we didn't know. So now we know better. Amen. So to make our marriage work, to make our marriage more happier. I'm using the word happier because we can my wife or okay. Okay, but I believe there can be what? Improvement. There are some key keys I want us to assess them. Amen. Some few keys I want us to assess them. Uh, because of time, we look about 10. Uh, we'll see maybe about another time. Anyway, let's see 10. As the time will take us. If there's more that we can do extra one or two before we close. Amen. So keys, this is married 201. Keys to a happier marriage. Number one, those who are writing, you can write it. Keys to a happier marriage. Keys to a happier marriage. Last time I said that, listen, the enemy is always attacking marriage. I was one bad because when there's our but that's when you can raise the children well in the knowledge and the fear of God. Now what's what I bet you the path. And so the enemy is always attacking marriage. Sometimes you use the man, sometimes you use the woman, sometimes or the will law. What's will be? When I'm angry, I'm too emotional. When I'm asking about cars, maybe I'm far away. Say I am not No, you are cool. Then the two of you are fighting. Amen. It is part of the traps of the enemy. But the Bible says we should not be ignorant of the devices, but of the enemy. And so that is why I said you you only have to go to God to teach you how to what have an happy marriage. And so if you are a good Christian and you are not ignorant of the device of the enemy, then you will. That, oh, I know you're born somewhere here. You do. They shake. Yes. You see, listen. Sometimes we pray plenty. It's because we lack knowledge. Yeah. Sometimes we pray plenty. But if you have the right kind of knowledge, you only say a short prayer and things begin to work for you. You can pray and things what work for you. The power of knowledge. So this morning we are going to go. Amen. And then we look at the blueprints. And I believe that those who are married, I want to bear them all. Moment, you know, more chilly. Yes, we all must spice up our marriage. Yes, we must spice it up. Bobby, yes, my son want to marry. There are plenty of ladies here. Tell the ladies they should position themselves well. Yeah, you have to position yourself well. Yes, as for you, lady, you can propose. So, the best you can do is what position. Okay, position. Okay, now you are trying. Oh, yeah, sometimes you can suggest. See, some men who are one among you. Oh, we know some men, one no man, they are always afraid. Meanwhile, they love the girl, they've been dreaming about the lady, yet they can't say anything. One no man, so you, the lady, now one ganga grana, you help him some way, somehow. Amen. So, let's look at the first key. We have a lot to say. The first key is establish your own private home. Don't take care of you. Establish what your own private home. Genesis 2 24, very popular one. Also, therefore, shall a man leave his what mother and father, and what cleave unto his wife, and uh, and both together shall be just he shall be joined. I love the word joined, joined to his wife. 
and both of them shall become what? One flesh. So the first rule of marriage as a man, as an ever mission of baby tina. As an akafo bin baby siare, abakam. Make sure you have a place that you dwell. Listen, you are staying with your father and you want to go and marry somebody's daughter. And then both of you will go and stay with your parents. Your parents will worry her. Oh, it is true. Even if you have the best of in-laws, they can worry you. Sometimes they want to interfere in your things. Sometimes oh, they want to talk about things. Oh, oh, mm. No. You must have a dwelling place. Separate from your father and your mother. Also, for this reason, a man shall want leave. So what? Establish your own private home. I know that this is sometimes the economic situation not in Isaac because of Sikasa. Listen, even if it is one room, let me tell you, why not there? How many rooms are there? And now, how many rooms do you stay now? You have your own home. Listen, you have to maintain one as well. Yeah, but even if it is one single room, tell you this, go and stay in with your husband. God will prosper you. God will enlarge your course. Very soon, you also build your own house. Relax. Don't rush it. Listen, if, yes, don't write the process. Life is a process. So it's a process. I remember when I was doing counseling, I was in the at the time. So yes, I have yes, my tomba, my wardrobe, my queen size bed, my kitchen, I thought oh, microwave, oh yes, TV, my fridge. With these days, our TV and fridge is still in Accra. One of them, TV and fridge. One of them, I'm going to go because when I was in Accra, I was in. Listen, you must have your own place. But you see, there are always exceptions to every rule. Understand? There was one lady friend of mine. Let me use her as an example. Then I'm going to see a lot of examples. Now, the papa was a big man in Ghana. I mean, one of the biggest. And so the government gave them their land. They bought their house. She land in Ghana. Tell you. So the father and my mom, one what they kiss by in the middle of the land. Now, boys, 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 but to go and stay with their parents. I understood it, Kakra. Because at least one of them were a bit away from one of the parents, one of them. So there's even if there's even interference, it's very little. But even then, after a number of years, they left and rented their own place. Listen, it is not advisable. Listen to me, young lady. And listen, young men. See, some men are so attached to their mothers that won't probably for my mention. Repent. Listen, don't marry such a man who is always grew to his mother. Mommy's boy. Me, they used to call mommy's boy, but me, I'm not mommy's boy. Because me 50 in them. Yes, I left home very early. From senior high school, I started going to stay in Accra. And I'm mommy's boy. I don't know why my parents allow me to go and stay in Accra. Maybe they trusted me. Amen. Don't marry those mommy's boys. Let them leave. I he must cleave to the woman. And both of them would shall be joined together. A man must what leave. So listen, the first one is establish your own private home. Please listen to me. This one will help you. I had another friend, and these are real stories. You take carefully. And what were we in? They wanted to go and rent their own place, but when you lost, so yes, they were home. And in laws they were not even in Ghana, and then they went to stay in their in laws. It was a very big apartment. What did we call rent? But after a while, in laws one was over Ghana, and when they come, they have to come and stay with them. And whenever the in laws come, there were issues in the house. Well, after a certain if yeah, so she can tell you some things. Listen, never stay in your parents' house with your husband or with your wife. It is, it is a bad thing. Never practice it. It is not good for you. Oh, yes. So the man, listen to me. If you are not ready to go and rent an apartment or you are, for, you are not ready to build, please leave the woman alone. Don't go and frustrate somebody's daughter. Yes. See, it is true. So, minister, before you marry, we will give you, we'll throw you away. Go and rent your own house. Go and stay there. Yes, we throw you away. So that you can marry and marry well. And listen, the first few years of marriage are very crucial. Because that's when I'm more and I challenge you. Some man we are putting you shake. Mama yes, and we are just to understand each other more. Unfortunately, these days we meet guys and we need two months want to go and marry them. Sometimes you see some people think that, oh hey, there, Mr. Right, oh he's an angel from heaven. Listen, eh, no man is perfect. Nobody is perfect. Every man, every woman has a weakness. So in Winana, one can say because of because of, when I see her, there's butterfly in my tummy. When I see him, there's butterfly. When I meet him, mm. then when you go, something is what doing you. When you eat the crown, you know that hey, but sure level crown. One can say there's no man is perfect. 
no woman is perfect listen on front of this day say see the, 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 the most saddest thing is level 100 girl you meet level 100 boy and then you tell no you are is it dating or what caught him come on me i've told all my daughters go and divorce those boys go and divorce those girls oh yes leave them alone focus on your studies ah you you don't know your purpose you have no hope Oh, my, I mean, no more, be busy. They give you money every morning. Your parents give you money every month. Yet you go and carry somebody's daughter. Now Jesus will be no kotokum. Yes, Jesus will be no kotokum. Enough is enough. You are joking. Cut them off. Cut what? Them off. Listen, rent a place. At least you don't have to buy everything. One, two, beer. It's okay. In your pa. TV is out. TV day. We have TV. We know you. Yes. It doesn't matter the mansions your parents have. I'm telling you, if you go and stay with your parents, aren't there will be issues? Because maybe I don't have weapon in the kitchen here. Mama T, Mama T in the kitchen will visit her. Get temper, Mama T in the kitchen. I trouble for you. Maybe I don't have one in the kitchen here. So when they need lobby interfere, when they are in Chinese, they need lobby. Mama T in the kitchen. They will fight. I'm telling you. Even if that lady is an angel, she will fight with the in law one of these days. And you complain about her, your wife. No. You know, no. Establish what? Your own. Oh, amen. Oh, am I making some sense? Oh, this one, you don't get it. Let's move on to the second one because of time. The second one is continue your courtship. I love this one. Continue your what? Your courtship, even in marriage. Hey! Mr. Afon, move away. Move away. Move away. Move away. Move away. First, you have got outer. Hey, Charlie, that dressing alone, you would dress and dress well. These days, an apostle, now it's a long dress. It's the wedding gown. I can put one there. Hey! Or in tomorrow, but no more. Hey! In which I started, I had to know about it. No! Dress and dress well. Listen, even in your marriage, listen, have that mindset that you are still courting. And so you want to please your husband. You want to please the, the, your wife. Oh, are you listening to me? Lawrence, are you listening? Yeah, you marry now, Charlie. I am on Basa. And if we are my saga. No! It's a matter of danger and When he sees it, I say, Chai! Chai! First Peter chapter 4, verse 8. Those who are writing. But above all, have fervent love for one another. For love covers what? Multitude of sin. Still be in the courtship what face in your marriage. Take him away out. Oh, now the young dinner. Oh, now they don't worry. They don't cook at home. Today, don't cook. Let's go for dinner. I remember when, I, when we were married, we had not gone anywhere. So one day, I surprised my wife. Can I see it? Can I see it? Oh, I'm asking permission first. Listen, I didn't, I didn't tell her where we were going. We took a car from Winneba to Accra. We went to Tema. And when we got to Tema, there was a situation and then she had to know. Before she went to Akosomo Hotel. Charlie. My wife doesn't like swimming, but that time, okay, she, 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 she swam with me. Swimming, pan. And when she entered the room, she said, this man, in the day, in the room, the room was, yeah. She, fully aircon. Listen, take her out small. I can tell you, I can even tell how much we spend. We don't know so much. And I think there's many by own. Charlie, the food is heavy. Save yourself. Is that my pen? Then you go and swim. And then we went to, like one of those clubs we went to the the water lake chilling pan on your easy listen take her out man get out my wife for so many years no 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 the rider what up break you do my take my tea out take her to Akosombo or take her to blue lagoon there's this blue blue diamond there's a blue diamond up on higher go and spend on your wife yes take them out spice up the marriage after 20 years of marriage spice is up for me See, those things me, I buy them for my wife. She will tell you, I buy them for her. Those nice, nice things, I buy them for her. Because more online, more from my friend, and I buy. This one, this one, you wear. I'm back up. I say, share. Ask her. We are plenty. Spice up the relationship. Man, can they work for thirty years doing normal, normal? I mean, this is my family. I want to be a. Ah, I can go and call. So, what else will you do? Spice it up. But we also have them. Now, but no one. I want, hey, Brandon, you know about you. <laughs> hey, 
Amen. Listen, appreciate your wife's mom. Oh, no, in this very way, I die. Wow, Charlie, you are looking good today. Oh, my, my, my wife finished dressing, she came to me and said, Oh, no, you're looking good, you're looking good. You don't need to be any dead. Yes, tell them. Man, get the Listen, those days you used to do. See, man, tell them what we're not saying yet. No, you must still do it. Compliment each other. Go if you say something about five lang- love languages. I don't know if you ain't mind any the love languages. They are very crucial in every marriage. Sometimes one of us should say, I want to I don't know how to cry. Listen, learn the love language of your partner. Don't listen. Miss Afua will make gifts. Tell you, you could put my hand on the gate in the diamond. Oh, my God, I'm not going to stand up. Some men, they love all this time. They love you to spend time with them. To do that. Yeah, those in relationships, you know, some of your boys, there are some things you do, they love it more. Yes. So find out the person's love language. And what? Stare it up. Don't let your marriage be boring. Don't let it be boring. No. Alfred, hope you are learning. Yes, when you will get there. Unless you want to become like Apostle Paul. You will get there. Just. Say who's here. Yes. Stare the marriage up. Sometime more anniversary. Take them. Take your wife out. Spend on her. Listen, you man is Kenya here then. What is the essence of making money? Is to what? Spend! Yes. I remember there was a day my wife said she wanted to go to Accra. I said, hey, you're broke. I kept missing me. Then I took her to Accra. The way she was happy here. Hey, I was surprised. What was the Accra? I took her to Accra. We spent three days eating and sleeping. Yes. We did the first day we did some rounds more. The next day, two days, we were just eating and sleeping. We had that. And then we do things. Simple. Simple. Share. Don't joke with your marriage. If you joke, your marriage will joke with you. Share. Yeah. So yeah, man. You see, Mr. Afu, yeah, is the one that person. If you better then with Mr. Afu. Yeah. Stare up the marriage. Compliment each other. Oh, I as well. Sometimes after doing things, oh, shall we a bear man? Hey, you are good. Why was one person person more challenge? Maybe I go here. I compliment him. Compliment her. Yes. I think marriage is good. Listen, listen to me. Marriage is good. There was a lady friend who told me something. Like, she's been realizing something. Ah, most of the time, our gen, our pan, we don't go fuka. But our papa and people don't say it. So young men and young they don't know that marriage is good. Me, I am telling you, marriage is good. You will enjoy a good marriage. Yes. See, sometimes we don't have any good example. See, when I want to know where I'm a where. Listen, if you, you don't see any good example, look at my marriage, a good example. Yes, bruv, marriage is good. You will marry very soon. Yes, and you will enjoy some. You will enjoy some. Share, that thing is sweet. It's sweet. You will enjoy some. Amen. Ah. Stare up what? Your marriage. Still, what have that gossip? Amen. Dress well. Tell him feel good for yourself. Let your husband look good. Me, my wife dress me. Those days, my men dress them. My wife, she dress me. Yes. Make them. Yes. Those days, you know me. I didn't like those dressing to attract attention. No, I'm just a cool normal guy. I feel say, Dabi, 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 this is our. You must shudder. So when you see me shudder, it's my wife. Yes. And some of my mothers do they have nice tops. I'm on. Yes. Yes, so when you see me looking good, that's my wife. Yes. Amen. Spice up what? The marriage. Spice up that relationship. Some of you, a normal relationship is boring. Then how can you even marry? Yes. Even normal relationship is boring. How much more your marriage? Please, if your relationship is boring, go and stir it up. But that one, no sex. No kiss. And no sex. No touching. Yes, you can do any other thing. But that one, we reserve it for marriage. Amen. Oh, let's move on. Before I realize, not time will not come. Continue what? Your caution. Surprise each other with gifts. Ah, come on. I don't want to like those stuffs. And I'm trying to surprise. Big one. I got a bottom one. I'm trying to surprise. Big one. I got a bottom one. I'm trying to surprise. Big one. I got a bottom one. Amen. Spend quality time doing things together. Amen. Let's move on. The third one. Remember that God joined you together. Amen. Remember. Matthew chapter 19, 5 to 6. 
What's for this reason a man shall leave his mother and father and be joined to his wife. So they they what shall they shall no longer be two, but what? One flesh. It is the same one in Genesis 2 24. Listen, sometimes I want to be an idea. Why join them together? And when you remember that God is your foundation, it will keep the marriage going. Oh yeah. Marriage sometimes can be a little stressful. Sometimes. When every day be an do, when every day be an honeymoon. No. Sometimes when you tell wife, why are you doing it? Sometimes when you ask, why are you doing it? What will you do? Sometimes because your husband will even insult you. Who could nobody hear? What will you do? Yeah. Oh yeah. Those are the negatives of marriage. I won't come. But I want to know what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to honeymoon. Yes. Sometimes you will cry. Sometimes you will cry. Sometimes you will cry. Sometimes you will laugh. Amen. So listen, when we have all this thing in mind, then we are actually ready for marriage. Yes. Go and marry your mother. Go and marry your father. No. There are times you do to your husband will even insult you. But please don't insult your wife. It's no good. Sometimes your, your, your husband will be angry with you. Or your wife will be pissed off. The question is what will you do? If you can remember, then you're going to join them together. Listen, no matter what comes your way, they will still stand firm and still have a fruitful marriage. Amen. What's the with God? What? All things are what? Possible. So sometimes, when the marriage is on a rock, relax. It is just a season. It will what? Pass away. Listen, I worry for you, you know, back at you, there were times that challenge tends you. Yes. And sometimes, when a divorce comes up, but it's a Kenya, I'm a fine I'm a fine I'm a fine chamber. Yes, it is well. It is the enemy trying to what, break this union. No. Remember, God connected both of you together. Amen. There are seasons. I remember a particular friend of mine, Charlie. What's up? 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 What's but after one year, the woman was started writing, oh, she'll do two colors. <laughs> I was I don't know what to do. I want to leave. Say, hey, you can't leave. Yeah. They're going, go and pray. God is the only one who can change their prayer. Today, today he's fine. Today he's fine. If I go to the what will happen? Today he is fine. Yes. Today he's fine. Because he remembered that Nyangu Pono and all joined one together. Listen, the marriage vow is not a joke. So listen, if you are not ready for marriage, please don't go and do wedding. Stay home. Leave somebody's daughter alone. Leave somebody's son alone. Yeah. You go and vow before all your family, before God and man, before the angels. 24 elder council, four living creatures. And after two months, you see, hey, be careful. You are joking. Listen, the marriage vow is sacred. People marry, even in their church. Me, if you marry, you want to divorce, like Angel Paul will say, you call what I know about but the people there, why you don't go? I'm not saying that you alone will go. Yeah, that's what Angel Paul told me. So like, hey, if you want to marry, we'll, we'll go with you, we'll support you, we'll encourage you. But I'm gonna worry about your divorce. I'm not saying that you alone will go. So when you are going to go, so when you're going to marry, be careful, watch, pray, see, then make that decision. Amen. So to the young people who are coming, we have an opportunity. Stay in this. Yeah. You have the opportunity to make it right, to marry well and have a good marriage. But if you don't listen to this advice I'm giving you, and when you go, your husband is beating you, when you tell me, I'll not mind you. If you call me, I'll not even pick your call. Because I told you, I told you that that guy with this anger, if you cannot deal with the anger, divorce him. I'm talking about relationship. I'm using the word divorce for relationship, not marriage. Yeah, because you're going to be When you marry, that is it. Me, divorce, I won't follow you. I will follow my father. And I am not going to So if you marry, that is it. To so make sure you make a good decision. Why are you in a hurry? Relax. Take your time. Get to know the guy. You can't meet a guy for just a month and say, Oh, I want to marry her. You are the apple of my eye. You are the only mosquito in my net. You are the only cockroach in my soup. That's nasty. That's nasty. Don't let that infatuation lead you to make that decision. Relax. Listen, I always say that the minimum time you should know a man is a year before you marry. Even this day, a year is not enough. Because people are being secretive. So get to know the person. Amen. 
relax. Get to know the person's weakness and strength. Uh, have fun. Go out. Have some dinner. Talk. Chat. Communication. Very important. And after a while, when all is selling, said and done, then take that giant step of faith. Listen, marriage is a step of faith. Because it means all blah, blah, blah. People can change. You can marry a holy angel today. And then the person is a devil. I'm telling the truth. So marriage is a step of faith. But you see, there are some foundations that there are some things that when you see from the beginning, oh, you do. Oh, okay. Amen. Let's move on. Let's move on. So the third one is remember that God joined you together. Amen. In marriage, when things are so tough, don't give up. Man, God, oh, no, no, no. Persevere, and God will see you through. Amen. Let's go to the fourth one. Guard your thoughts. I love this one. Guard your thoughts. Young boy, and I do not remember. Yes. Let's guard our thoughts. As for as a man thinking in his heart, so he is. Proverbs 23, some. What are your thoughts concerning marriage? I said, I want to divorce. No! Guard your thoughts. What's what? Guard the loyals of my mind with your word. Amen. I love what our Proverbs put. I think Proverbs 4, 23, 24. What's guard your heart with what? All diligence. For out of them are what? The issues of life. You see, the heart is just like a seed. You have find a, a mango seed, okay? Mango. Do you know that, that mango seed, the potential that is in it? Leaves womb, stem womb, flowers womb, even billions of fruit are in that one mango seed. If only it is put in the good soil. That is the nature of a heart. So if you feed your heart, out of it, the issues of life, the good things of life will proceed out of the heart. Amen. So that is how it is. Guard your thoughts. Evil thoughts. Tell and deal with it. Sometimes, hey, a problem. Hey, tell our lady, Maya, is it a good decision? No. Problems will come, but the Lord will see you through. Amen. Sometimes the devil, listen, the devil has his own way of destroying marriage. And don't give the devil what a foot stool. Don't give him a hold in your marriage. No. Tell yourself, no. When things are bad, better days are coming. Yes. Listen, uncontrolled thoughts, eh? They're just like a car. You find them on a hill, okay? And you leave a car on a hill. Then you put the gear on free, you need to free. What happened? It will move downward. That is how uncontrolled thoughts are. Because out of the thought proceed your what? Actions. Yeah. I don't know if you know that man. So if you don't have right thoughts, I can empower what concern your marriage. Listen, your marriage will collapse. Oh, it is true. Your marriage will collapse. How can I advise two young guys? What the one who things are fine. What worry are there are problems? And then let's go. Charlie, let me forget about this. Listen, this day so, the rate of divorce in the church is too much. Yeah, it is too much. Big, big church. I know plenty. Even pastors' marriage. Listen, pastors, they were men before God. So, man of God, the man before God. So, he's still a man. Yes, because our perception. And you know, may he is pure, he's holy. Or the chapel is so fine. Or the chapel of God. Go to his house and go and see his room. When you get this room, in God's name of you. Very dirty. Yes. What you see here is not enough. Oh. Follow her to her father's house. Go and ask her mother. Who be saying not tonight? Listen, my friend said something. That I, listen, before you marry a woman, go and visit her early in the morning. Without the makeup. Without the eche. So I'm going to say, I'm going to say, the week. So I'm going to say, yes. Without the makeup. Without the... Go and visit the early in the morning. You, eh? Let me give one advice. You go and your girlfriend and put two two verses. Now why you make up? Don't worry. Leave it. Oh, you didn't hear what I said. You go and say six and at five a.m. Six thirty and at six a.m. Now why you make up? Please don't marry her. She's hiding her ugliness from you. Yes, she's being secretive. And about to do that, make up. And about to do do. I know you make up no other. Hey, repent. I you make up other. You don't want anybody to see your real self. Listen, let the man see your real self and let him make that decision. One of the worst things some women have done is that they hide their real. Most men would see it, but what we are saying we pray. He will divorce you. Let him know. Let him know that hey, I'm not But I'm there's room for improvement. Yes, I'm working on myself. Let him know. And let him make his own decision. Let her know. Yeah. Memphis. No, 
Why don't we be honest? I start beeping, beeping, beeping. Yeah, she will leave you. But yes, any man who beats a woman is not a man. Yeah, it's like a city without walls. That's how the Bible puts it. Any man who can who cannot control his emotions. Is watching with tape, uh, Deborah. Hey, Dora. <laughs> Let's move on. Wow, time is up. Let me just jump a few. Let's do the five. Never go to bed angry. This one is very, very important. Never go to bed angry with one another. No, 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 no. Yeah, sorry, it's true. <laughs> Lee, but don't let the sun go down upon your anger. Ephesians 4 26. Yeah, in our home. In our house, my wife is me, you know me, I don't like. I don't like those things. I'll tell you the truth. In our house, my wife knows. You can't go and sleep angry with me. It's not possible. I've never done that, she's never done that before. If there's any issue, we settle it before we sleep. No matter how serious the matter is. See me. It's Yamana Dada. First name here, but this is the Yamana Summit. It's Yamana Dada, I don't even mind. Or me, in the next five minutes, we are fine. Hardly there. I have an issue with you for an hour. It's not possible. But my wife, she takes time. So once when I when we met, I saw that hey, that's how she is. Then we started working on it. But to date, if there's any issue, that day now, in fact, it, the issue is settled. It is not good to sleep with an anger in you. No, no, no. And some people, it's so well that can you imagine? We be one 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 to move forward. You could need that one room now. Be sent to the one room. Hey, <laughs> we're the separate room because of an issue. Sleep on the same bed. And the most annoying part is being on you when you have some on your Hey! No, but they allow. No! Settle the matter before. Oh, yes. Settle the matter before. There was. Let me just share this one. There was this sister of my very wonderful Christian sister. Oh, in fact, you couldn't even know a very good boy. <laughs> I don't know what happened. <laughs> also, also, we could not say they were, they were having issues. Also, also, this man with all the issues still he wants to sleep with me. And sometimes I wonder. And me, I'm not in the mood yet, he wants to. Meanwhile, there are issues I don't want to get someone else settled. He doesn't want us to. Oh, yes. So sometimes they start to call marriage that rape. Yeah. So, if there's someone here in the first, it's a rape. We can take you to court. Yes, I'm saying some things. So, make sure when there are issues, you settle the matter. Make sure that assembly of basic guys settle it. This as a man learn to say, I am sorry. As a wife, learn to oh, you have a point show my affection. Learn to say it. So men, eh, you see, sometimes our culture did not help us. Because our, our culture we don't learn to say I'm, I'm sorry or apologize. Listen, as a man learn to say I am sorry. Oh, yes. I don't say I could be a I'm not lying, I'm not confessed. Yes, learn to say, I am sorry. Oh, I didn't do it. Please forgive me. Simple. And it will settle matter. Listen, they are not difficult. Women, they are not difficult. Listen to this one. Women, they are not difficult at all. Ah! You go go to dinner, you can have a job. Share. Because no, I expect. Because she's not expecting it. Come what Come what maybe you are in now. Come what you are in now. But the question, what do you do? Learn to say what I am sorry. Learn to apologize. Oh, sweetheart, I didn't know you forgive me. But sweetheart, I can't go now. I start to have on it. It's melting. Yes, Lord, are you listening? I'm more poor for life. Oh, please, I didn't know you forgive me. That is in the sense of the Listen, this is one rule in our house. It will always be till we go to heaven. Never sleep. Be angry with your father. No, can you even sleep well? Even sleep, me, I can't sleep. Even when I have an issue with you, but one I know I'm down by my dream, it disturbs me. So, no, learn to resolve issues before what you sleep. Also, what do not let the sun go down on your anger, amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. Let's try, okay, let's rush through them. Let's rush through them. Number six, keep Christ in the center of your home, amen. Psalm 127 verse 1 also, Unless the Lord builds They labor in vain That water That builds Listen it is, the God that, it is God who builds your marriage Also for by strength Shall no man what prevail So don't think that the marriage Is by your strength It is grace So always pray with your partner 
come together. We have more money divorce. Let Jesus be. As a threefold cord cannot easily be broken. So you, husband, wife, and a Jesus at the center of it. Oh my God, it binds the marriage together. Amen. I have one reverend minister in Winneba. Those days now my marriage council not sing. Listen. Till date, I pray with my wife every day. So when I had me to Miss America and Miss Musia. So ask my wife. Every morning I pray for her. Every morning. Every morning. Every morning. Every morning. Before she goes to work. I can't know why I live, but still she wait. Because it's very important. And I make declarations. You are a mother of nations. You will prosper. Your children, you know, will call you blessed. Listen, do this for your wife. My fathers. Do this for your wife. I've said it here before. Let me tell you why That's our boy. Amen. Imagine though. I don't know. I'm from where I'm from. What's up with technology? I know when when she traveled. Those are not worried. But I used to pray on the internet. Listen, these days, the world is a global village. So distance is not a barrier. Call your boyfriend, pray with them on phone. If that guy can't pray with you now, he can never pray with you when you marry. V, see that girl. See him. If you can't pray with her now, listen, I had a pastor who's a prophet, very wonderful man of God. But the issue is that they can't pray together. That's how awful. No, we get up there waiting to be in a mobile. No, we're not going to be able Listen, don't let that thing deceive you. When you pray now, it means that you can also pray in the future. So pray with your guy. Pray with your wife. At least every day you talk. So every day, every five minutes, you can pray. You ask my wife. When we're dating. Check. So even now, I declare things upon my wife. And I know that they shall be fulfilled. Also, whatever you want to see in the one can is when you're there. It's boom. Amen. So let Christ be the center of your marriage. Let's move on to the seven. That just ten. So number seven. Okay, let's pray together. Number seven is pray together. Amen. I remember these days, that's what I do. Why if you're done, I'm a many hands on you then I shut up. She doesn't even know what I do that very often. Is that addiction? Maybe said, did you did you feel when I was supposed to know at the ground? Yes. I'm gonna that now. So I don't say I'm gonna for now. She's gonna go now, brother. Amen. I'm gonna tell you amen. She needs it. Oh yes. How pleasant it is it, it, it is for her husband to praise the wife every morning. I You are the head of the family. So whatever you say, coward, what shall come to pass? Declare it. Pray with your wife. Morning divorce, don't joke with it. Every morning, pray with your wife. Pray with your husband. Pray with your girlfriend. As long as once you decide you want to marry her, pray with her. Set the things in motion so that when you marry, it will not be a struggle. Oh, yes. James said, I wish what pray for one another. I always ask myself this question Can you pray with your wife or husband when you're angry? No. There was this family, I stayed with them for some few days in Accra. And my mom said, I said, if you even if it's time to pray, they will stop. They will come over, settle as someone, they will settle the issue before. They do the prayer meeting. And I love that about that family. They will never go and pray with issues. No, no, no. They will sit down. When I saw my boy, they were asking me, say, Antonio, you can't be asking me. You have one How can you pray with an anger in you against your wife or your husband? It's not possible. Amen. Let's move on to the eighth one. Let's agree that divorce is not an answer. Oh, yeah. Divorce is never a solution. Oh, yeah. I know of a young man. See, this is the thing that happened these days. What you are, what you need to say, you are not That's an immediate, it doesn't work. I'm telling you, it doesn't work. This young man is pregnant. And the girlfriend, he told you, I said, I'm proud of where the children were also. And my man was a big, big ministry. Just to cover up, they get married. That, after a year, the guy said, No. The man went out. Now he's going to share a girl for food. And the girl named, Hi. Oh, no, no, no. And now he's married to this young lady. Oh, you know what? What do you believe? He wants to divorce. I said, hey, you want to divorce? Ah, you want to pregnant this girl? Fine. I ain't here. But why then do you add salt to injury by what marrying her? Meanwhile, one can say, you're not lady named what? So even my question is, I don't know about any initiative. I always say that if you commit an error, don't add up to it. The first one is enough. Don't add salt to injury. 
Now he's having a problem. He wants to divorce. And you know in Ghana, if you want to divorce, five years, six years. Yes. <laughs> and it is a good thing. Pray. Do not let you divorce just a year or two. Don't prolong it. Now this young man is in a dilemma.